What if I told you that the most popular over-the-counter pain reliever could kill you? It seems hard to believe, but unfortunately, it's true. Right now, I'm talking about one of the most consumed drugs in America, acetaminophen, which most of us know as the active ingredient in Tylenol. It's a drug that's considered to be safe when taken at recommended doses. But ingest just a little bit more than directed, and you've suddenly entered new territory in which both your liver and life are at risk. This is all according to a new in-depth ProPublica report which lays out the studies and the facts behind a drug that seems to be growing more dangerous. During the last decade in the U.S., 1,567 people died from accidentally taking too much acetaminophen, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 1,500 deaths over 10 years may not sound like a lot, but just consider how some of these people died. Take Davy Bomley, a 12-year-old kid who took liquid Tylenol to cure a sore throat back in 1999. After just a week on the medicine, he began to vomit blood. In the emergency room, doctors told him he had suffered severe liver damage, and just a few days after that, he was declared brain dead. Lab work showed he mistakenly took just four tablespoons more of the medicine per day than he was supposed to. And then there's Antonio Benedi, who once worked as a special assistant to George H.W. Bush. In 1993, he took Tylenol after coming down with the flu. And while he never exceeded the maximum dosage, he did occasionally drink alcohol. After a few days, Benedi was in a coma, on life support, and in need of a liver transplant. Now keep in mind, at the time, nothing on the box warned about the risk of drinking alcohol while taking the medicine. These are just two stories of people who have fallen victim to this accidental overdose in the past. But there are countless more meeting the same fate. According to an ongoing study funded by the National Institute for Health, acetaminophen overdose sends as many as 78,000 Americans to the emergency room each year. 33,000 result in hospitalizations, and the drug is now considered the nation's leading cause of acute liver failure. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has long been aware of the studies that show these risks. In fact, in 1977, an expert panel convened by the FDA said it was obligatory to put a warning on the drug's label, reading severe liver damage. However, believe it or not, the label didn't get added until 32 years later. In 1977, the FDA also said it would issue safety guidelines for how the drug should be administered. But fast forward 36 years later to 2013, and Americans are still awaiting new FDA regulations on the drug. But the agency is not the only challenge to more regulation. Tylenol's parent company, McNeil, has also been a strong force to reckon with. For more than three decades, the company has repeatedly fought against safety warnings and dosage restrictions. And despite getting hit with scores of lawsuits and even being removed from some markets, Tylenol has maintained a powerful brand. With most Americans in the dark about the fact that taking as little as two extra pills a day could kill you. Perhaps making America's most consumed painkiller a killer in itself. In Washington, Amira David, RT.